You remember about four weeks ago, we did a show and we said, you know what, get in front of the holidays this season. You've got plenty of time. There's no more time, okay? It's last minute now, so we are going to help you with everything last minute you need from your shopping to your meals. We've got Chef Randy Feltis here right now. Hi, beautiful. Hello. How you doing? Thank you for the help. No problem. So I want you to picture this. You've got everybody over. Mm -hmm. The pressure is on. You've got a turkey going on. You've got gravy going on. Things are going wrong. So we need turkey and gravy 101, like 911. We've turkey all gravy witnessed 911. it. We've all witnessed it. Right? It goes, it goes so sideways so quickly. Yes. Right? And sometimes it doesn't. You just like don't expect it, but you really should know better. You should know better. Yes. But you know what? Mistakes happen. Mistakes and then, happen. And then you think, how am I going to fix this without calling for pizza? What do I do? That's really like, like you know, that drops Last on the gap. floor and the dogs attacked it right. when you call for the pizza, right? That's right. not really, really bad. But we have a saying in, in all of our kitchens, and, and it goes a little like this. Don't, I will never judge you on the mistakes you make, but on how you fix them. Okay, that's all right? fair. And it kind of works in life. Yeah. We all make mistakes, bad yeah. things happen. So it's not about how bad the situation is, it's how good you can fix it. Okay. So that's what this segment is all about. I like that. So let's start with the turkey. Okay. It's kind of intimidating. It is. Um, especially if you don't do the turkey dinner every year and it's been two or three years and you don't know if you should be buying fresh or you should be buying frozen or what you should do with it. Right. right? Um, I would suggest try to get fresh if you can. Yeah. Um, be ahead on it, plan on it. And then if you don't and it also gets sprung on your last minute, you have to get a frozen one. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to defrost? I don't know. You're looking at the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're trying to say. I can give you an answer. A really long time. A long time. A long time. You know, I remember growing up and, and my mom used to defrost it in the bathtub. Right. Where we were bathing. And I don't yeah. know if that's exactly right, but we were farmers, you know. Right. I mean, the kids were clean when they're in the bathtub, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Go bathe with the yeah, turkey. Yeah, she cleaned it out. Like, I don't know if that's a good idea. So what you want to do is you want to get a large container with, with water. Yeah. You want to run water on it, and you want to keep flipping the bird and kind of rotating the water every half hour. Okay. Right? Yeah. It's still going to take a long time to frost. It's the only time we'll tell you to flip the bird on the show. Flip the bird on the show. <laughs> okay, so, so you've got to defrost it. you got to defrost it. And then what? And then, okay, so then you get to the point where it's defrosted. Do you brine or do you not brine? I don't know. What, like, what are the advantages? of brining. It's almost like a safety because if you overcook it when you brine it, then it's still going to be tender. It's yeah. still going to be kind of like have some moisture in it. It's still going to be delicious. Sweet. And I really enjoy salt flavor, mm -hmm. so it's going to be salty. So I always brine. And it's just like kind of a, a safety net. But if you cook it perfectly and brine it, yep. oh, they're going to give you like, they're going to give you a belt and a cape <laughs> and you'll be like the turkey king. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you hit that and you hit it right, then that's kind of the moral of the whole thing. It's like either success or failure. Where right. do you want to end up with your turkey? So if you want foolproof, then it's better to brine. Better to brine. Yeah, at least then you've got a little bit of wiggle room. If you have the time. To overcook it. Sure. Right? Um, and then the next part is, what if you get the turkey and you have a lot of people coming over and you get this massive bird like this and you go to put it in your oven and you go, uh-oh, my oven <laughs> don't fit the bird. It's not big enough. Right? It's like, what are you going to do? Don't go to, to the barbecue because it takes a little bit more skill and time to do it in the barbecue. Yeah. Sometimes you flare up. So you're, you know, what you want to do is you want to break it down. And maybe this is something you want to do anyways because it's a little bit easier to cook. So what it is, okay. I just took this great big bird and, you know, you take a look at that, that breast. Yeah. Now we've kind of cut down the cooking time. Right? And we've kind of made it so it's a little bit easier because once you start stuffing this thing, mm -hmm. you're taking this really large, large piece and it's going to take a lot longer. So you're cutting back in your cooking time and you can make it a little bit easier. What you want to do is take the legs off as well. Yeah. Some drumsticks for you. That is a huge turkey. That is a big turkey. I'm How not going to lie. Pounds like, is that I turkey? think it's like 22, 23, wow. right? But like, I've got a big family and they all like leftovers. Mm -hmm. They all have, like bring their own Ziploc bags and stuff. Totally. <laughs> right? And, you know, yeah. Your family's like that. So I always like to cook enough. Okay. Um, separate the legs from the breast and cook them. Uh, individually because okay. the legs sometimes take a bit more time. That's going to be easier for you too. It's less intimidating if you've broken it apart right. because you know it's going to get cooked through and that's what people fear the most. And then you that it hasn't been kinda, cooked through. Yeah, you, you can actually put your, your thermometer in there. I don't really yeah. use thermometer. I use a fork, but we'll get to that too. Well, you're a pro. We're pr well, I try, <laughs> but you know, I still make mistakes. Yeah. Still make mistakes. So try to have that thing un unthawed and not frozen and then break it down this way, cook it that way. Yeah. And then you can use the bones for stock and we'll get to our gravy. So I want to ask you something before you continue because you're a big proponent of start at 400 or yep. 425 and then bring the temperature down yes. 
What if you forget to bring the temperature down? <laughs> and it's in there for a really long time. What if you mean, overcook it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go through that. But first, okay. I need, can you, you know what, I'm not even gonna get you to put the gloves on. We're gonna do it with a spoon. They are pretty gloves. you know what, they're pretty gloves, but I feel like, you know, I don't want you to get too dirty. Here's the trick for the gravy. Okay. Basically, we're gonna make a beurre monier. So we have equal parts butter and flour. Mm -hmm. I need you to just work that up and make that kind of thing happen. Okay. So what we're gonna do is not the overcooked, but the undercooked turkey first. Okay. If you take a look Good. at this breast, I think I undercooked it. So let's take a quick look. Well, you know, maybe it's, that's it's pretty, perfect. pretty spot on. Let's go to a deeper spot. Let's that's go to a perfect. deeper spot. As I mentioned, right? he's a pro. You know what? <laughs> it's a little pink inside. And this is part of the advantage of cooking the breast because it's off the bone. It's going to cook a little bit more evenly. Okay. But you can see it's a little pink inside. Yeah. And, you know, Aunt Myrtle gets really upset about that. She doesn't want to see that kind of stuff in there. So what you do is you just cut it nice and thin. Yeah. Right? And you have your, your, your juices on the thing. And you just kind of put it in there. Let it sit. So if you have some pink in there, you're going to cook that thing up. Right? So you're going to finish cooking it in there. You're going to finish cooking it just like really slightly. Kind of warm it up at the same time. Now that being said, if you wanted to do your bird ahead of time. Yeah. Which you could do, and this is what some professional kitchens do if they're doing large things, is they cook it ahead of time and then they put it on a rack like this, right? Mm -hmm. And they carve it up and then they get a steam bath going in some chicken stock and then they steam it. Oh. So could you imagine to yourself, yeah. in your own mind, Yes, I'm in there. <laughs> if you did it the day ahead of time and you yeah. just cooked it like almost to 165 and then you just kind of, everyone came over and you can have enjoyed cocktails and have a mm. good time. And then all of a sudden you're like, I got the turkey and you have these racks, you just kind of put them on, you steam it. Yeah. Right, and then you can serve it out hot. That's perfect. So the only thing you're losing when you do all of this is you're not going to have that big presentation when you bring the bird out all together. That's fair. That's You've fair. sliced and diced it, which I think is fine if you know that the whole thing is cooked properly. That's okay. You can give that up. Well, you're, you're, that you're moment losing that anxiety like, because you woke up in the morning you're like, I've got this now. Yes. Right? <laughs> and then you can have the legs done and they can all be carved up and yeah. away you go. What do you so want this for? Our what this basically is, is just butter and flour and Tracy, she says she can't cook, but look at that. Not That's bad, exactly right? what we're after. <laughs> Thank you. So what you want is a paste. And what this has done is, is basically the butter kind of goes in with the flour. So when it drops into the gravy or the stock, it's going to dissipate and it's not going to be lumpy. Oh, because I see. Because the flour doesn't have the capability to lump together because the butter is going to melt and like disperse it. Oh, right? okay. So normally you want to cook that out for like. The flour butter to be a buddy. Yeah, right? So okay. you kind of like cook that out. But as you see, if you just whisk it in the corner there, yeah. it just dissipates. And then you cook that out for like 10 or 15 minutes and you're never going to get lumpy gravy. Okay. That being said, if you do, if something happened and maybe your mixer wasn't nearly as professional as Tracy, <laughs> all you want to do is take your gravy and then put it through a sieve. Right. Now, if that doesn't work, uh -oh. <laughs> which uh -oh. is, like, I mean, we've seen some accidents happen, right? <laughs> what you want to do is basically get your hand blender and you get it in there and you blend that thing as hard as you can because you cannot serve the turkey with any lumps, let's be honest, okay. right? So, so now we've done the undercooked. We've done yep. the lumpy gravy. Yep. What do we do for the overcooked? The now overcooked, do we order a pizza? No, no, no. The overcooked <laughs> is actually very similar. I think I was okay. supposed to overcook this one. You want to take a look at this one? Let's see. It's probably perfect. <laughs> you can't even. I don't even know what to tell you. Like, look at that. Like, how beautiful is that, right? You can't but even help it. What you would do with the overcooked yeah. is cut it a little thicker, right? And then just kind of marinate it in there. Turn your stock down and let it sit mm. in there and kind of absorb the juices up. Okay. And then you can take your overcooked, but that is not overcooked. That is just stunning <laughs> right there. And you kind of place that down like there. And you Beautiful. just take your gravy and then check this out. Like, I don't know, like, what is the story? Gorgeous. There you go. Beautiful. Um, so good many good tips there. The most important thing is to kind of chill out a bit. Um, yes. It's not the worst thing in the world, and there is a way to fix the issue, right? Completely.